How are we doing guys? It's Josh from The Dancing Bee here. And it's Dana. And we're going to show you guys how to install a package effectively. First, we're going to go over some of the tools that we've got here. As always, we need our smoker. Uh, we have our bees here in a package. Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. <laughs> With these bees, we're going to install a pollen patty to make sure that they have some food and resources. Uh, we've also got some sugar water. Uh, which is important to calm the bees and get rid of some of the pheromones. It gives them something to do. Uh, we've got our hives tools as always and a bee brush as well as a bag here to cover the hive and a ratchet strap to make it easier to move. Because right now we are installing it in a, uh, a roofed area. You could do this at home in your garage if, you, if the weather isn't nice. The last thing you want to be doing is installing these bees on a hot sunny day because the bees are going to fly everywhere and it being a little bit cooler is actually perfect today for us to install these bees. That's right. So installing a package is quite a bit different than installing a nuke. So today this is what we're showing you is how to install our package. So you know installing a nuke we do it on warm sunny days when the foragers are out. That's the opposite that you want for your packages. So Josh and I are going to run you through that. Beautiful. Cool. To start with, inside our hive here, I'm going to show you some of the frames that I like to use when I'm installing a package. You're definitely going to want some empty frames. There's absolutely nothing in here except for drawn out comb. Uh, the bees need a place to lay their eggs. The queen's going to want something very soon and right away to start laying into. The next thing we're going to want is a frame that has some space those empty frames as well as some honey so here on the corners is a nice rainbow pattern of uh, honey that's drawn into these this comb and all in the center is empty space so that's perfect because that gives some food nice and tight to the cluster as well as some space for the queen to lay outside of that i'm going to want another some empty frames again maybe with a little bit of honey but also hopefully something that looks like this, that's a beautiful honey frame, and that's food for the bees as soon as they need it. The next thing I'm gonna do is find those two frames that were close to the center there, that had some space in them, and I'm gonna take those right out. I'm gonna take them out and put them on either side. And what that's gonna do is, can you just lean that back for me for a second? Yeah, sorry. That's gonna leave me a beautiful space inside the hive here to drop these bees right into. Sure. Next thing I can do is take out a frame and I can hit it with a little bit of sugar water. And that's just going to draw the bees right to these frames right away. And give them something to go to work on right away as well. Next up, the fun part, we've got our package here. And with this package, there is a string and your queen is attached to this string. It's gonna be stapled in, so you're gonna use a hive tool to pop that out. Nice and easy. Get rid of those staples. That way your queen is ready to take out. Now, as I open this, there are bees in here and some may climb out. And I'm gonna take this nice little set of queen here. I'm gonna pass it off to Dana. Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. And I'm gonna close that right back up because the easiest way to get these bees out is actually not through the small hole in the top, which most people assume right away. It's actually opening it up from the bottom spreading open and smacking these bees in here. So let's try and do that right now. Do you want to smoke you first? Do right. we smoke them first or no? Yeah, sure. Let's give them a little bit of extra smoke just to calm them down. Oops. And in as well, thank you, Dana. We can even give them a light little bit of sugar. You don't want to soak your bees. You can drown them. Bees do not have the ability to dry themselves off, but they will clean themselves off. You can see them already sending their pheromone signals up there. So these bees are already doing their dance. 
and letting everybody else know that there's some food here. And you can see it's kind of cool when you hold the queen. They're obviously wanting just to stay with the queen, so it's pretty pretty neat. She's got a gorgeous green mark on her. I can already see the green. Beautiful. The green. So green, of course, is this year's queen. So there you go. All right. My favorite part is opening up my package. And I'm going to just stick my hive tool right into this seam. And I'm going to follow it all the way across and lightly open it. I don't want it to pop open right away. I'm going to lightly open the whole thing. And on the top of these packages are the last two staples. I do them last because, again, I don't want this to open on me before I'm ready. So with the, this nice space here, and I'll show you one last time. With this nice space here in the center, that's where I want all my bees to end up. And on this nice cool day, as I open this, the bees are going to fly less. Take this out after. So now I've got this package lightly opened. I'm going to pop the rest open. And there we are. She's open right now. And as you can see, the bees aren't interested in flying around. It's cool enough right now, but they want to stay with the rest of their bees. This is the inside of your package. And you may not take as much time as I am right now, but we have the time to show you how this looks and what these bees are about to do. So I'm gonna take these off. And then the best part, you wanna have everything ready. I've got my hive lid, I've got my brush, and I've got my frames. And now these bees just go straight into their home. You don't need to be too aggressive when you clap these bees down, but when you drop them in, you do want to be strong enough that you don't have a lot of bees left. You want to be using a little bit of force. You want to be calm but purposeful. And that's it. Now I'm just going to take my bee brush and get rid of some of these loose bees here. without making them too upset. So I'm just going to clap these together. Spank them down. There we go. There's a last little bees, little bit of bees here in our sugar water. And there is a little clip right here that pops open and releases the lid. I'm going to take these bees here and do the exact same thing, but on its side, because there is some sugar water in the bottom of this. I'll be able to show that to you in a second. And I'm just going to lightly oh, dump that in there, but I lost the sugar water. And this sugar is just a gelatin. So now we're just cleaning off the little screens. Dana has the queen. And what we're gonna do is make sure that this nice rainbow pattern with this empty space is gonna be in the center where we put our queen. I'm going to gently put this down because there are bees all in this space right now and I do not want to crush them. Beautiful. Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Now, one of the things that I like to do is have a look at these bees. And these bees are, they're not being aggressive towards their queen at all. They're, you can tell that they've been here and that they're comfortable and they know her smell. So we would be okay to directly release this queen into the package. If they were, if I put these bees down 
just like that on the top of their their cluster and they were being aggressive and looking like they were trying to sting through the cage i would leave her in her cage and that's what we're going to do today just to show you how it goes in and i'm going to take this hive tool from dana and i'm just going to lightly she's got her cap on it yep oh, okay. i'm just going to lightly put her in and i like when i put her in to make sure that this release part i'm going to get rid of some of the bees here we would open there's a small bit of candy in here, and I like to take a little bit of it out. It just helps the bees get started to release your queen a tiny bit earlier. And just a small amount of candy, or if you have a screw, we can poke a tiny little bit of a hole through. I'm gonna try and make sure that this part remains on top, so that if there's an attendant that's in there that died, if it was on the bottom, there's the chance that it may clog this this portal right here for her to to get out so again i'm just going to lightly turn my hot tool to the side and place her in just like that and because it's cool right now i would push her a little bit deeper into this frame so that she if it got cold and the bees wanted to cluster together they're going to cluster right in the center of this hive and they may leave her fairly unattended up top here. So we would push it deeper into the hive, just like that. And then Dana is going to show you a pollen patty, which is something that they need desperately right now. The trees are not, it's, this, is, this is the earliest chance to get bees here in Canada and our trees and plants are not, they don't have pollen ready for our bees yet. Right. So we supplement that with a pollen patty. So this one's an Ultra Bee Pollen Patty. We have uh, several different kinds and pollen, the reason we do pollen patties is they're high in protein and it will encourage our queen to really get going laying her oh, eggs root. and uh, build up the population. So with that, you wanna leave, no matter what kind you can get, um, Global Patties, Ultra Bee, uh, any kind of pollen patty, you leave the parchment paper on there, they're gonna eat through it and you wanna put it right over the center of the cluster where the queen and the bees are Oh, they're already grabbed, going on to they're it. They're already hungry, looking to eat Just that. like that. And we're going to leave that, leave the queen, close her all up, and uh, move her to where we need to go. How long would we leave this unattended for without opening it? You don't want to open the hive right away and find out. I would leave it for about four days. How about you, Dana? Yeah, three or four days. And then probably then I would just check to see if the queen's been released. Yes. I want to make sure that my queen's not in the cage. It's like introducing a new queen. If she's still in the cage, we want to give her a hand and get her out. And then after that, once she's been released, we want to leave her for a good week, 10 days to make yep. sure she's laying her eggs. Obviously, this time of year, you want to make sure it's nice weather. You're not going to open her up or open up the, the colony when it's really cold. But it's supposed to be nice next week. I'm hoping. <laughs> so, yep. So we're gonna put the lid on there. We'll put the lid on, cover her up. And I love to have a ratchet strap to keep my hives nice and tight. And I will put it in the bag and carry it away. Do we want to show them how to directly release the queen? Uh, if you want, or we can. Do you think it's too cold? We I think it's it. beautiful right now. I just yep. wanted to make sure that. She's in that, there. that we can see them and how it goes. Yeah, we can do that. Because these bees had clearly been around this queen for long enough, I can just take this queen cage and I will pop it open. And right away, I'm going to put it down into this hive. And this queen is going to look for the dark right away and she's going to climb out of here. She is climbing out right now. And there she is, climbed straight down right into down. the hive. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's close that up. We're going to close her up right away. Right away. So our queen has been introduced. We're putting on our dancing bee hive lid with an, an exit right there. There we go. A lid. And we're going to ratchet her up. Make sure she's nice and tight. And this just prevents the hive from moving around as we move it. And then my lovely assistant Dana here is going to show <laughs> us how we put them in the bag. So then this is um, a colony, we call this a full-size colony um, bag. We also have ones for nukes. 
We don't want to seal it up because they could overheat, especially with our nukes. So if you're transporting, you can transport uh, colonies and nukes in your car if you want to. I know I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this will help keep them so that they're not sealed, but that, excuse me, that um, they're not going to fly around in your car. Although, I mean, that's always an adventure too. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've both done that before. So the best way to do it is to open up your bag first, and then you can. Um, Josh can lift it because he's nice and strong. We're Thank gonna place video. it in the center, and I'll just make sure that yep. So he can set it down, and we're always gonna do this gently, and then we just pull up, pull up the uh, the bag, and we zip it closed, just Six. like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And okay. now our package is installed and ready for transport. Right. So we can carry it by the, the ratchet strap or by the box, but you can see the entrance is right here. If they come out, they're just kept inside the bag. And then when we get to our location, we'll just unzip it and move it out and let them go. And that's how we install our packages here at Dancing Bee Equipment. I hope to hear from you soon and looking to see you guys pick up your packages. If you have any questions, don't forget, you can send us an email at sales at Dancing Bee Equipment and follow us on all our socials and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Have a great day.